We were out on vacation this past weekend, so uh, I'm a little late in getting the garden video up. Matter of fact, I think I spent too much time at the amusement park because everything's still kind of spinning, you know? <laughs> so let's, whoa, let's do a garden update, guys. Well, the tomatoes are looking great. Yeah, they're no longer golf balls. Now we're getting into baseball territory, so that's awesome. And I've got some that are returning. Oh, yes. Isn't that pretty? Well, by golly, I believe that's something to eat right there. Or it will be in a week or so. I've got one that looks like a worm got into, but for the most part, my red Christmas balls, or my almost red Christmas balls, are achieving what I need them to do, which is keep the birds from pecking them all away. Little pecker heads. Beautiful little baseballs. I love it, love it, love it. Now, unfortunately, not everything is rainbows and lollipops. Let me show you this. Last Thursday, before we headed out for Hot Springs, I found a bunch of aphids on this plant, and at the time it had leaves. But they were pretty much camped out on this one and uh, funding their expansion from here. And so I went and got some organic indole, which is an insect killer, but it's organic, and sprayed all of the plants down. This one was too far gone, it didn't make it, but dead gimmick, I got a bunch of little Roma grapes there. Look like ra grapes, doesn't it? So I'm going to leave them on and see how they do. This entire plant right here has still got a branch that actually came off, and I've got green leaves. So I'm hoping that the plant can support these, and we'll, we'll see. Now I've also got the bug tonic that I will use in the 20 gallon hose and sprayer. It consists of a cup of dish soap, a cup of yellow mouthwash, and uh, spray that on the leaves and that'll get rid of them also. And I'm going to use that as a maintenance. When I sprayed the indole, it was about two or three hours before we got a really good soaking. So it was just enough time to kill them and then wash it away. That's the other reason though, if you're organically gardening, you plant more than you need because you should expect some pests. You should expect some issues. Not everything is rainbow and lollipops, you know. But if you plant more than what you need, you'll be able to make it through those issues and also diversify. You know, I've got better boys, I've got indeterminate ruckers, and I've got the Romans. Hot dog, I think we're going to get about 30 minutes of sunshine today. And because we've had all of the rains and we went on vacation this past weekend, we had a couple of jugs of milk that were about to expire. So what I did is I brought them on out here and popped the cap and I gave each of the root zones of my tomato plants and the pepper plants some milk. Because of all that rain, your calcium is going to get washed away, your other nutrients, and you're going to run into blossom end rot issues if you're having a lot of rain. Hopefully with the calcium in that milk, that will take care of that. With some really warm days, the sugar pea plants have pretty much played out and we've gotten all we can. But over in our secondary bucket, you're going to see a lot of green, and that's from that tomato plant that I thought had died in that late freeze. And look at what we have here. Baby maters. <laughs> the pepper plants have bounced back really well after the hailstorm that we had. We've got bells on. And our mammoth jalapenos, jalapenos? <laughs> our mammoth jalapenos are doing really good too. We finally got a good squash plant to go to, and we're about to uh, harvest some off of here today, I think. The green bean plants are making it happen. Not only do I have blooms, I've got some baby green beans. The cantaloupe has begun the march. We'll be heading up the TP before you know it now. We also put up some hanging baskets on the end just to encourage more pollinators. In this one bed where we've always had problems with squash, we went ahead and popped a watermelon in here. We've got a couple of watermelons growing. And uh, it's doing pretty good so far. If it keeps on growing, when I clean these peas out here, I may just let it run right up the trellis and try to 
I'll have uh, I'll have some runners on the ground, and then I'll also have some on the uh, trellis going upwards. We'll see if we can't trellis this a watermelon. Okay, strawberry growers, what am I doing wrong? Do I need to feed them more or what? The only strawberries I'm getting on here are like that. They're very small. What can I do to plump them up? Give me your comments down below and I will appreciate it. I'm not a big strawberry grower. And right here is our other watermelon plant. We have another one right there. I've got two open boxes on either side of it so it can send down some roots and get more nutrients. And that eggplant that had all the hail damage, you can see the hail damage on the lower leaves here. It was looking really sad. Well, it's grown right out of it. And it's looking okay. Cucumbers. Don't look. Yeah, the devil aphids had just gone too dead gum far with these things. Now, we have managed to get about five or six cucumbers off. And I've still got some uh, pickled from last year. Pickles. But uh, the cucumber harvest is not going to be what it was last year. We do have some blooms on though, so we may still yet get some more. This one is the healthiest out of the bunch. The other ones are just really ragged looking. Maybe they can bounce back like the uh, hail damaged plants did. I can see some fresh green on there. So they might. Time will tell. Ugh ugly. Speaking of the bounce back, you can see right here the lower part of the plant had gotten eat away and then I did the spray and the fresh part is looking pretty good there. Well guys, that's the garden update for mid-June. I hope your garden is doing well. About a week and I'll be making salsa. If you'd like to see a salsa making video, fire roasted salsa at that. Check out this video right here. made it about two years ago. So, understand. Okay. If you'd like to know how to can salsa, I've got another video for that as well. Guys, it's Reaganite71. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Salsa!